Kyrie Irving just missed his third consecutive game for the Brooklyn Nets, and when Steve Nash was asked about it, he said, I can't answer that right now. There's been a video circulating on Twitter of Kyrie at a large birthday gathering because his sister and his dad have birthdays this week. Does that remind you of anyone? And so I expect the NBA to take the same exact approach as James Harden, and I'm thinking Kyrie's gonna have a lot more time out. Some sources, and I don't really know how reliable they are, have posted saying that Kyrie just told Steve Nash, I just don't wanna play. And if that's true, that is a bad look for the team and for Kyrie Irving to simply just disappear like that and then when asked about it, just say you're not feeling it. When Kyrie missed that first game, Steve Nash reached out to Kyrie after Kyrie just told his teammates and not his coach and didn't even get a response. There's also sources that said that Kyrie missed that first game because of what happened at the Capitol, but why would he keep missing games and why would he be at a party? I feel like if you missed the first game because of the Capitol, you'd communicate that with your coach as well. And I think that Steve Nash would understand, especially what happened last year in the bubble with the protests. Kyrie's missed games because of reasons like this before too, for personal reasons and how he's feeling at the time, like when Kobe passed away, he didn't play and that was understandable. So he's normally communicated these things, so I think it's very odd that if he would have sat out for the Capitol, that he would have just said, I'm not going to tell my coach, I'm just going to tell my teammates that I won't be there. Kyrie has played in 27 games out of the 88 games that the Nets have played since signing him. When Kevin Durant was asked about Kyrie's absence, all he said was, I'm not going to say anything, I'm going to let Kyrie answer for himself, and that we're praying for him and supporting him 100%. In other words, do I think Kyrie simply told Steve Nash and the team, I don't want to play? I don't think so. I don't think that's exactly what happened. I just think he's kind of been quiet and keeping to himself. But also, do I think that Kyrie was out because of what happened at the Capitol? I do not because again, I think that's something that you can communicate with your team and your coach and I also think that he wouldn't be still missing games, I think he would have addressed it at least a little bit more than he has. But in all honesty, that's all the information I have on Kyrie. He has to answer for himself just like KD said. Sources have confirmed that he will miss at least a week because of the CDC protocols and the NBA's guidelines and all that stuff, but I think it'll even be a little bit longer than that. He's going to have to return multiple negative COVID tests and we don't know when he's even going to start taking those tests because he's not with the team. So with that, I'll leave it to you guys. How long do you think Kyrie will miss? When do you think he'll return for the Brooklyn Nets? And also, what's the real reason behind Kyrie not playing? Do you think it was the capital? Do you think he really just didn't want to play? Or do you think there's something more here? Let me know in the comments. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I'll see you in the next upload.